welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new decades episode today we are going to be checking in on the busby family with nelly and james we'll be doing a couple birthdays this episode it's been a while since we've been with them in the last episode with them they moved into a new home so i'm really excited to show you what i've done so far and continue to work on it so i hope you are looking forward to today's episode let's go ahead and jump into it Radio. So this is the house that we downloaded in the last episode with these two and it actually is so cute I am loving that they've got this water here. Um, I didn't realize that they had a pond So that makes me so happy. We have currently little Evelyn Swimming around in her big pool. So they have moved into this place. We have I have slowly started to renovate it I haven't really gone too crazy with it but um i found a bunch of pictures of charles and aaron from their wedding day in um nelly's inventory and oh look how cute these two are still so much in love after all these years oh i just love them so we <laughs> have a very empty house currently but upstairs i've done quite a bit um, I did share on the community tab that I've gone ahead and I've renovated little Jamie's bedroom. So cute. Oh, he's getting into a mess here. And I've done one of the upstairs bathrooms and Nellie and James's bedroom. And I've started Evelyn's bedroom and Grandma Vivian's bedroom. So it's coming together slowly but surely. I think it looks pretty nice. So I've been really thinking hard about, oh wow. That girl is definitely trying to make a statement in those heels and veil. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but yeah, so I've been trying to kind of figure out what I want to do with James and Nelly. Like, I know that I had a few things planned for James, but I don't think I can actually do in The Sims. Um, so I kind of been trying to like throw some ideas back and forth on what we could do with James. Um, and I'm thinking that James is actually going to rejoin the criminal career. Now, you have to think about the times, you know, they're in war times. There's a lot of jobs that are available, but James really doesn't have a lot of the talents uh, that those jobs require, like building things. He is definitely more of a keeping his hands clean, metaphorically, it's not so much, but in reality, he's not much of a working with his hands type of guy. He likes fast and easy money, and usually that means that it's coming from not a reliable source. And I think with now the new added pressure, oh hey Theo, he's probably come to see her, you know, check on um, little Nelly since her favorite brother's gone to war. He's probably wondering what's going on. I'll let her go say hello. So I just feel like James has all this added pressure. You know, they just bought this huge house. They definitely have the money to renovate it, but will they be able to afford the bills on it? I'm not sure. He's got a lot of pressure taking care of his mom, his wife, and his two kids. And I feel like James has just kind of gotten to a point now, especially with the war, where he is seeing an opportunity and he wants to take it. So I am gonna have him join the criminal career. Now, during the 1940s, what a lot of um, people would do as a side hustle and a way to make money is they would actually try to acquire uh, limited goods. So during the war, rations started to come into play and the, it would be really hard to get certain things. So like certain luxuries in life, like fancy coffee or maybe uh, makeup and you know, things that weren't as produced because of the fact that, you know, the war effort was taking everything and they were telling you to live on stamps. And um, so people would accumulate these things or would acquire these things and they would sell them on the side for cash. So. I think that that's something that James will probably start to get into, but he is not going to tell Nelly. He is definitely going to tell Nelly that he is out to look for, you know, a reliable job. Now, because Nelly is at home, she has to take care of her two youngest kids. So in today's episode, it is time actually for Nelly to become a, an adult. She is no longer a young adult. She is going to become an adult. 
So I thought we would throw a joint birthday party between Nellie and her oldest daughter, little cutie pie, Evelyn, because Evelyn is just a little bit younger than Diana. So now that we have a beautiful Diana aged up, I want um, Evelyn to be able to age up and be a teen so they can um, hang out all together with her and Bailey. But I thought we should try to maybe renovate some of this downstairs today also because I don't even think I have the ability to feed their child right now. No, I don't. I didn't put <laughs> So I wanted to, so I think I'm going to quickly throw a couple things in here just to make it a little bit more livable and then we will plan the birthday party. Okay, so I just finished doing a fairly quick reno of their living room. James and Nellie, to me, even though they are trying to have a family life, I feel like they definitely are still really stuck in their ways of like partying and throwing, you know, really fancy dinners and clubs. And I feel like they're starting to get to the point where maybe they're slipping a little uh, and maybe Nellie's starting to reconnect with her old friends, all of the girls from the club. And I think that they're really starting to be influenced by that lifestyle again. Um, so I really wanted to show that kind of in their living room that like, you know, even though they have kids and they're trying to be a family, they still very much much love the luxury in life um, so I kind of made sure that you know James has his little pipe and you know his his alcohol on the wall so that's kind of fun and then I also made sure to put a picture of um, her brother on the wall because it is her favorite brother and obviously he's just gone to war so I feel like Nellie is really struggling with that so um, I do think that the family also can afford a butler now so I am going to go ahead and have her I uh, hire a service there we go so I think we will have a butler and I think because Nellie and James are still like really influenced by this lifestyle, I can really see the kids eventually becoming, you know, really influenced by it because obviously uh, this is, you know, what they're surrounded by. Um, so it's Sunday at 228. I am going to have Nellie go ahead and I want her to plan a social event and she is going to invite all of her friends out because she wants to have a really awesome birthday. Um, I don't think she's going to invite her sister. I think she really wants to let loose and have fun now that she's getting older. Um, and I think sometimes she feels like Emma can maybe be a little bit of a, you know, a party pooper. So I'm going to make uh, Nellie and Evelyn the birthday sims. And obviously we're gonna have our regular family members, but I really want her to invite over like the fun Sims. So I feel like she would invite Anna. I think Anna would really enjoy a nice party. Um, I do think she might extend the offer to Erin because of the fact that she loves Charles so much. Uh, just to give her a little bit of a break. We'll invite Elizabeth. Oh, I don't know why none of her friends are here, but that's okay because we can invite them um, we can invite them as a group gathering I just want it to be at our house I think she would want to do like karaoke in her backyard so I think we'll get the karaoke machine so she can do that with her friends just set it up over here um, I think that she would probably want a little bit of a dance floor I feel like this is going to be James's like office. I will probably make it way more cooler, but just for the sake of the birthday party, I have the um, juice pong table and the sabac table so he can do a little bit of easy gambling. <laughs> um, I'm going to get Vivian because she's the grandma. <laughs> I'm going to get her to go ahead and make a birthday cake for everyone. She's wearing her famous red dress again. Oh, did you see? She wants a baby. I feel like when you get to that age, you probably do um, think, oh, am I done? Because like you're getting so close to maybe not being able to have kids. So you're probably like always thinking about like, am I sure? Am I done? Do I, you know, do I want more children? 
So we want Nellie's roomies. We're gonna do a start a gathering. So, she, oh wow, Anna really dressed up. She's probably like, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm always up for a good party. I love this kind of thing. You know, Theo really would have liked to come. And Nellie's like, well, I just wanted today to be about the girls and have a great time. Oh, I forgot how pregnant this girl is. Look how sweet she is. I don't have MC Command Center in my game right now because of the new update. I didn't want my game to crash. Oh my gosh. Nellie must be so happy for her. So we should come over here and go friendly and give her a hug. And we should also ask to feel the baby. So she's going to be... Ugh, you know, seeing her sister-in-law being pregnant at her birthday probably doesn't help her with the whole baby feeling that she has. Oh, poor Elizabeth. Nellie's like, oh my gosh, when are you due? I'm so excited. Congratulations. And Elizabeth's like, oh, thank you so much. We have all of her girls here. Um, we should turn on. Let's go um, listen. Change station. We need some jazz in this place. There we go. Oh, look, Aaron's here. Aaron's probably like, this is not my type of group, but I'm, you know, happy to be out of the house and have a little bit of a break. You know, she just adopted a kid, uh, Jace, and she also has a teenage daughter, and she is raising her family on her own since Charles has left for war. Uh, so being able to get out and dance and have a good time probably it makes her really happy. So I think I will get Evelyn to quickly blow out her candles right away. Um, and then we can focus on Nellie's birthday. So first up is Evelyn, the little princess who is about to join the rest of her teen girl group. A lot of you really want to see all the girls go to university together. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, oh, Diana sent her a gift. So sweet. So she is squeamish. So her and Diana do have that in common. Um, I really think that Evelyn is going to be like super, you know, materialistic, wants a really fabulous life, probably a little bit snobby. So I think I'm also going to give her the snob trait. And maybe jealous. Jealous could be fun. So I think we'll give her materialistic for now. And then uh, when we age up again, I might give her snob. And I think for her aspiration, it's definitely going to be fortune. So either mansion baron or fabulously. Okay, we'll do this. Uh, fabulously wealthy. She doesn't want a successful career. She just wants to be rich. So she wants to be all about owning the biggest and fanciest home. Oh my goodness. Um, now that she's aged up, I am going to give her a little bit darker skin because I'm trying to fix the jeans with all of the Sims in the series because a lot of them uh, don't look like they should. So once we go in, I will do that. Now, I really want to age up Jamie because I feel like he's been a toddler forever. How long have you been a toddler for? I feel like Jamie is really close to his sister, but I can't remember if he's older or younger than um, Harry's kids. I feel like he is older than Harry's kids though, and he's definitely older than Jace. So you know what? Oh, Aaron, did you take some of the cake? Oh, well, we'll get grandma to, uh, maybe it was, well, you can have Evelyn. You can definitely have some of your birthday cake. I'll get grandma to make some more. I think we will age up Jamie today also. I hope it's in the right order. Sometimes it's really hard to keep track, so I'm really sorry if I do it out of order. Um, but like I said, I, I try to do as much as I can when I'm in each household just to make sure that we're caught up. So I feel like Nellie is probably so excited to see all of her friends. She really didn't get along with this girl, even though it says that we don't know her. But I think she would like to do some karaoke. Oh, wow. Look at Eartha go. She's living her best life over here. Um, I'm going to have her sing a jazz duet. Who should she sing with? Should we get her to sing with Petunia? She was always pretty close with Petunia, right? So she's out here having a really nice time doing a karaoke, jazz karaoke with Petunia, just like the old days. I bet you she is so happy about that. So what's James doing? He is insulting. Who are you insulting? <gasps> James, why are you being rude to Elizabeth? 
Is he flirting with her? <gasps> Feeling flirty. You know what? A few of you have pointed out to me that James has been really flirty with a lot of other women and that you're really upset that he hasn't been very loyal. Oh my gosh, look at him. <gasps> so uh, he flirted with her. James' sentiments feels like she is in dreamland and Elizabeth feels like he is pretentious. Ugh, she does not like him. Anyways, I have noticed him being a little bit more flirty. I feel like as James has become more and more of a family man and settle into this life. I really think he's so, like he's really struggling and I think that he is really debating maybe starting to look elsewhere uh, when it comes to attention because Nellie for one is also someone who really loves attention. So as you can see, she's way more focused on herself and having fun and I think that she isn't really giving James the attention that he desires and I can see him trying to look for that elsewhere. But anyway, so I do see potentially their marriage is starting to really struggle and maybe, you know, kind of fall apart a little bit. Oh, a little Jamie is about to age up, little cutie. Cause he and Evelyn were toddlers at the same time. Like she was a little bit older. So I do see him being a child now that she's a teen. Okay, so his skills weren't great. Unfortunately, I didn't spend too much time with him as a toddler, um, but I do think I'm gonna go ahead and give him the motor and I think we will give him active cause we don't have a lot of active Sims. And last but not least, it is time for little Miss Nellie to come blow out her candles. She's going to become an adult. She's in her 40s now, I would say at least. So it is definitely time for her to be an adult. And James was a little bit older than her, so I did age him up off camera. Nellie has aged up, so it is time for her to fulfill her dreams, plan for retirement, and midlife crisis is await. <laughs> Oh, she still looks beautiful as always. <laughs> Good for her. And Charles made sure to send her a letter. I am going to go ahead and jump into create a sim so we can get a closer look at these kiddos. Oh wow, she does look a lot like her mom. Okay, so there's Evelyn aged up. I actually think her skin tone is a pretty good color because if we look at James, his is over here. And Nellie, oh my gosh, Nellie's so beautiful. I am gonna have to make her look a little bit older. Nellie is here. So one, two, three, four over. And where are you? One, two, one, two, three, four. So this is her mom's skin tone in here and she's right here and her dad's here. So she's actually right in between the two. Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? <gasps> oh my gosh, he is so sweet. He's adorable. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give these two cuties their makeovers and when I'm done, I will be back. Okay, so that took forever. <laughs> I am finally done and I really love how everyone turned out. This is little Jamie and uh, for his everyday look, I tried to go for more of a, you know, fun, loving, uh, sports loving kid that's like running around the streets just playing with his friends, especially because he has the rambunctious scamp trait. I thought that that would be appropriate. But then for like his more formal looks, he looks really dressed up because I feel like his mom and dad would really expect him to look appropriate but then his other looks are like, just like a fun kid having fun. Um, so I really like his uh, party look. He looks like a little gangster and I think that his dad would definitely want him to dress that way. Uh, but when it's for looks that aren't important, his parents don't really care um, if they're not gonna be seen in public. <laughs> And look at how old this lady is. I love her, but I gave her a little bit of uh, friendly lines and I thinned out her hair a little bit for some of her looks. And this is her with no makeup on. So Nellie has definitely um, aged a bit, but she's still beautiful, let's be honest. I just love Nellie. 
And of course, last but not least, we have beautiful Evelyn Busby. Now, when I was looking up fashion for the 1940s, it was very um, floral patterns or solid colors. And so I really loved this dress. I thought it was so beautiful. I can see her being a lot more glitzy and glamour. I can't see her being uh, someone that's super modest. And I really liked showing off like all of the jewelry that her father has bought her and kind of like spoiled her with. So she's really used to being super spoiled. Um, this is her formal look. I really love it. It's super bedazzled and like covered in jewels. And she's got like the winged eyeliner. She actually looks so much. I can't remember her name now. I can't remember her name right now. It's completely left me, but the mix of Nellie and Gage's daughter together, it actually looks a lot like Evelyn. So I'm really glad we've got Evelyn because I feel like she's got just a little bit more sass to her, you know? So I'm really happy that we ended up with Evelyn and Jamie. Um, her fitness look, um, I know that most women wouldn't show their stomach, but I feel like Evelyn does not care what proper is. I gave her a really fancy sleep outfit. Look at this party. She is the type of woman who shows up in a gown because she can afford to and she is a fancy, fancy woman. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like her. I hope you all like her looks. Her summer or her hot weather look is so cute. And I try to keep with like the red, white, and blue vibes. And I really love her cold weather too. So I am a big fan of everybody. And for J James, I gave him some salt and pepper. Oh, I forgot to give him wrinkles. I meant to give him some wrinkles. Okay, so I've given James just a little bit of wrinkles just to age him a little. And I've given him the salt and pepper hair. I think he looks so handsome still. And I actually changed James's um, aspiration to serial romantic. He's still family oriented. He loves his family. You know, growing up in the setting that he grew up in, he loves family and will always be loyal to them as far as providing. But I do see him starting to stray. So let's go jump back in the game. Okay, I'm trying to get everyone to sleep again. So anyways, she is definitely suspecting and also he's been spending lots of nights out and the fact of the matter is Nellie doesn't know that James is working in the criminal career anymore. So uh, when she suspected James of cheating, it's, you know, some of the times it definitely could have been, um, he's actually been working or he ha he could have been with another girl. We just don't know. So Jamie has to go to school and so does Evelyn. Um, I forgot to check what her grade was. I'm guessing it wasn't a B though. <laughs> um, she has to go to school. I don't think she really cares about her homework. I think she cares more about looking good before school. So I'm gonna wake her up. <laughs> Um, how are you feeling, little dude? You can go to the bathroom. I need to get more toilets for this house. Oh, she's going to school. Okay, so I want her to make friends today because I feel like Evelyn definitely cares more about uh, making friends than she does about actually doing well in school. Um, Jamie, I feel like he'd be an average student. Like, he doesn't care one way or another. Um, and James, when does he go to work? He goes to work in nine hours. And look at this. Um, She's feeling flirty, but she's not wanting to woohoo with James. She's just wanting to woohoo with someone. So I find that very, very interesting. James is woken up tense. He needs amusement. Okay, so we just got bills. How much did we? 2000 So I'll let James go ahead and pay the bills before he goes to work. Nellie is feeling really happy. One thing I wanted to say is I think that Nellie, because she's been suspecting James, I think that's why she invited all of her friends over for her birthday, but not her sister, because she's a little ashamed about the fact that she probably, um, ashamed that she married a man who hasn't been loyal and she doesn't want to tell Emma because Emma would just be like oh I told you so it's so you know like of course what do you expect it's that's what he is um so I definitely think that she's really sad about that I would like to get I'm gonna get Evelyn to do her homework and then I'm gonna have her um invite her friends over so she can start getting to know Bailey and everybody better but uh, I think Nellie is definitely feeling pretty sad. She's like, well, I basically did half my homework. She throws it on the ground. It counts. 
Um, let's go ahead and get her to start a gathering so she can see all of her friends. I think Stanley's gonna show up because he's still in the group, so just ignore that. Stanley's overseas in another country. <laughs> okay, so James is at work. I'm gonna have him make connections. So Evelyn's feeling super tense. Here is beautiful Diana. I just finished all of her makeovers. I really want everyone to get to know each other better. Um, I feel like the two of them have a lot in common, so I think that they will be able to gossip together because they're both kind of used to like high paying family lifestyle. Um, Ami, on the other hand, is more of like farmer girl, so she's probably like, um, yeah, I really have nothing in common with you guys, but here I am because my mom told me I have to be. <laughs> I feel like she's always going to be like the common sense one, and I feel like the other girls are going to be getting into so much trouble uh, between her. So like Bailey and Ami, I think will have a lot in common, um, and I think that Evelyn and Diana will be a lot closer. So I'm gonna have her try to get to know all of her cousins, see what's going on. She would definitely be like bragging about her possessions and being like, did you see the necklace my daddy just got me? It is so fabulous and uh, I think it cost him a lot of money. Little Bailey's like, oh, that's cool. My dad's at war, I really miss him. Oh, well, <laughs> my daddy will probably buy you a necklace too if you want one. Not, um, oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. How's your family coping? It's, she's like, let my daddy spend money on you. <laughs> she's so bad. And Dora, Diana would be like, oh, Bailey, it's okay. I, I'm really sorry you're going through that. My dad's told me all about how hard it's been. If you guys need anything, make sure you ask my mom. She'll help. So uh, Diana is still a little bit like, oh, I don't want to do anything about it, but she's still more caring. So she's still offering assistance. Oh, we have Alicia here. This is Stanley's sister, but it looks like Evelyn is a little tired from such a hard day at school. So I think I will end her group gathering. Um, but I really wanted her to at least see all the girls once before um, I ended the episode. And Nellie is definitely questioning her husband and wondering where he is. He's been telling her that he's been looking for work and I think she's starting to worry that like the work he's looking for isn't good. Um, but fortunately she's got Evelyn here and her and, um, or Vivian and her and Vivian seem to get along really well. So James just got home from work. Wow, he made $63. So I think he's expecting her to be asleep when he gets home. So he's gonna come in. Oh wow, he looks really dirty. I wonder what he's been up to. <laughs> um, she's gonna come over and she is going to yell at him. She's gonna say to him, she's gonna say, where have you been, James? She's like, where have you been? I don't understand why you've been gone and why are you so flirty? <laughs> so she's gonna be like what's going on I don't understand where you've been so she's gonna argue about his career and be like are you going back into that business like I don't understand I thought we were okay I thought we were happy so she's gonna yell at him and just say like I don't get it why wouldn't you tell me and James is like I don't know what you're talking about I've been running around trying to find jobs the only jobs that they offer right now are at nighttime so I had to do a bunch of odd jobs that's why I'm so dirty Nellie I've been trying to build boats for the for the soldiers not not robbing banks or doing anything illegal oh he is not happy and then she's going to say to him, she's going to say, and have you been cheating on me? She's going to say, have you been cheating on me? I know that you've been out late. If it's not a job and you've been looking for work, are you cheating on me? Like, I don't understand, James. I thought you were happy. James looks angry. He's like, Nellie, just focus on the kids, okay? I'm going to make sure that we can afford the life that you've always wanted. She's like, I maybe I put too much pressure on you before. She's gonna say, but you know, like I realized when we were younger, I always said that I really wanted, you know, the big house and the money. And maybe I was too hard on you. But now I just want us to be a family, James. And he's like, whatever. He's like, all you ever care about is money. And she's gonna be like, you know what? He's actually kind of right. I have been like that with him. So I think she might try to apologize to him. 
and be like, you know, I'm really sorry. I think I just put too much pressure on you and maybe I was insecure about myself and, you know, I'm really sorry for doubting you. You've done everything I've ever asked. I'm really sorry. So she is apologizing to him and now they're having a suggestive conversation. I'm gonna get them to come upstairs and have some woohoos because they were having a casual discussion. I think Nellie's feeling really bad that she questioned her husband. So they're like, let's go ahead. James has always been <clears throat> really good at um, smart talking and lying to people. So I think that he is super used to lying about what's going on and what his business is. Um, unfortunately, I think Nellie has fallen for it today. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave this part here. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts. Let me know what you think of everybody's makeovers. Let me know what you think about James and Nellie. You know, should Nellie, you know, just trust James and let it go? Or should we pursue this further? Maybe James just needed to have that one little moment or, you know, does he keep going with this? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. I agree with some of your comments about life being too perfect for a lot of these families. And I think if there'd be trouble in any household, it would probably be with James and Nellie just because of their two personalities. <laughs> so yeah, I'd love to hear all of your thoughts. Uh, thank you so much for watch watching. And until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.